All right, finishing off section 1.1 is a discussion about circles. Now, we all know that you know circles have a center and a radius, but mathematically, the circle itself is just a collection of points. So, while you may think of this as a you know just some circle or curved line, if you will. It's really just a bunch of points that are so close together that they form a line which happens to be a fixed distance of some radius r away from the center of this circle. So here we have this distance here is the radius. And then each of these points, all of this stuff is the circle. So this gives us a key as to how we're going to define a circle. Because it's a distance. We're going to get a bunch of x's and y's that have a distance away from this point equal to this. So if we write that out, that the distance between any one of these points on the circle, which we'll just call an arbitrary x and y, and the center h K, this is supposed to be r. But we know how to write the distance between two points. You take the difference in x's, square that, take the difference in y's, square that, take the square root, and that's your distance. So we can write this in a bit simpler way, get rid of this ugly square root, if we square both sides. If we square both sides, then this is the standard form of a circle. Squaring the left side gets rid of the square root. Squaring the right side changes it to r squared. So this is the standard form of a circle. And it has a fixed center and a given radius. Now, you may notice I'm using capital letters and lowercase letters intermittently. The reason for this is that everything in capital letters is supposed to be a number. Everything in lowercase is a variable. So when you write the equation of a circle, they're supposed to be x's and y's involved. Kind of like when you write the equation for a line. If I write it in this style here, y equals mx plus b, when your answer is supposed to be a line, well, you have to find a number for m and you have to find a number for b, but you leave y and x alone. So, if we take a look at it, a real quick example. So, say number uh, 52 on page 63, and we're supposed to write the equation of the circle with radius, or excuse me, center, minus 1, 2, and radius being 2.
the center is the point HK. So the X coordinate is H, the Y coordinate is K. Minus 1 is H, 2 is K. And the radius is R. So we just use the standard form and plug in for H, K, and R. squared. So this becomes x minus, again, watch out for these negatives. I've got a minus in the formula and h has a minus in it. That's two negatives and they have to be here otherwise you're going to get the wrong answer. And apart from a little simplification, because minus minus 1 is just plus 1, and 2 squared is 4, this is it. This is the equation of a circle. So, just like with a line, X and Y are left as variables because there's a relationship between these two variables. If you know the X value, you can get the Y value. It's the same thing here. If you know the X coordinate of a point on the circle, this equation will allow you to find any Y values that correspond to that particular X. On the line, it's more of a, if you know what the x is, this can tell you what the y is, and vice versa. Here, if you know what x is, you can find the y's associated with that x. And again, and vice versa. So, because we have a bunch of, a collection of points, we leave this as x and y because the point we choose is arbitrary. You can choose any point you want on the circle and because the choice is arbitrary we just leave it as x and y. Same thing as on a line. A line is just a bunch of points strung together and we want to represent every one of these points on the line. So we leave x and y as variables and that way every point on this line that's every point that's, that's on this line will satisfy this equation. It's the same thing here. Every point on the circle will satisfy the equation if you plug in X and Y. It's just that there's not one of them. There's infinitely many points that you can choose from and we want to describe all of them with one simple equation.